I'm back in the bus. We're getting back to work and building this thing out. So we're gonna take this bed and we're gonna have one of those ones that slide out so it can push in or slide out. So a couch or turns into a bed. That is my project for this morning. I have to set up outside because I gotta set up our moonshade to create some shelter over top of our bus so that I can cut outside because I don't wanna do the work inside, but it's also starting to rain on and off here. So I wanna make sure that we can cut and be dry at the same time. the bed sort of so it pulls out which is really cool but the problem is when I go to push it back it gets stuck there instead of going over top of that lip so I'm gonna be watching some videos and finding out how to make that not happen some people say that you soften the edges on the other side then it can just slide right up on there I'm gonna figure it out I'm sure there's an easier way to do what I just did, but it still works if I wiggle it a lot and move it around and all that kind of stuff. There's an easier way to get this up. I don't know what it is yet, but for now, it's great. I mean, it, it pulls out, it goes back in. Um, so I'm gonna work on making that better in the future, but I got a lot of projects to work on before Emily and the kids come back. I shall move on. Check this out, look. So the bed comes out, and the problem that I was having before is these boards all had to be shaved off a little bit on a slant so that when I push them up, they go and sit on that bar there. So I push in just like that. Good job, Shane. Uh, four months. All right, we are back on the road and we're actually hanging out here at Hershey's, America's largest RV show, Hershey, Pennsylvania. And uh, we're gonna be hanging out with Battleborn all day today. Battleborn is what powers our whole bus. <laughs> yes, it is. So we're gonna go hang out with them at the booth and talk about why we love Battleborn batteries. That's what we're doing today. I'm pretty All right, we got in. They just printed one. All right, we're here at the RV show. We're gonna walk around and look at stuff. But first, we should probably go see Battleborn because that's why we're here. We found Battleborn! Woohoo! We made it! Woohoo! So you live in the dream. You should see it through someone else's side. We're just hanging out here at the Battleborn booth tent. And Juno's here to help us sell some batteries. What do you think, June? So this is Kaylee and she pretty much runs Battleborn. And she right now has become Juno's favorite human. Because she's giving her some oranges. <laughs> She's not only giving Juno oranges, but peeling the oranges. So we're just hanging out here with like the coolest people ever. Bam! Hey, what What's up? <laughs> Look guys. All the guys behind back there? Yeah.
I'm gonna show you some of the updates that we've done thus far. Everything's pretty much finished in the back except for a couple aesthetic touch-ups, but let's start with our room. I got this memory foam futon mattress on Amazon for $200 and it's really comfy. All right, put your hands here and pull it out like this. Oh gosh, is it falling apart? And then you pull the mattress down. Ta-da! Bed. And then we still have windows over here that we have to scrape paint off of, but then we have windows to open up while we sleep and everything. Now I'm gonna show you how we close it. So all you gotta do is grab it right here in the middle, pull it up, and then you gotta put your hips into it like this. They think it's a fork. We have tons of storage under the bed now. So there's like a shelf under here. That's why it's up so high because I kind of got sick of not having enough storage for like miscellaneous no, items. Like I have a sewing machine and I use it. So now I have a place to store it. So up next is our closet. Oh gosh, stink bug. Don't poke it. I was not going. What happens if you poke it? I think you're very bad. Really? Yeah. You go, go get some. Maybe taught me. Okay, so this is me and Shane's closet. So we've got like Shane's shirts and underwear huh, up there. And then we've got like my shirts and skirts. I have way more shirts than he does. Um, and then I also have like tons of pants and cute shirts here. And then Shane has some pants here too. And then my socks and then we've got some stuff up here it's private. It's private. and then I keep my shoes in here Ta -da! got a little hook here for my bags and one here for hats so we moved the kids beds back here so this is Sawyer's bunk bed. He has way more space in here than he did before. And we're gonna put a cabinet at the foot of his bed too for like his favorite toys. And then Juno's bed is down here. She also surprisingly has way more head space here than she did before. And like just so much more space in general. And it's just so cute. And then we've got tons of storage here. We're gonna build like a little bookshelf for these over here. But right now I'm just storing them in baskets because this is gonna be Sawyer's desk where he does his school. I'm gonna get him a little chair. It's gonna be so cute. Um, and then this is like where all of their clothes are. So just in baskets here. And we have to scrape the paint on the, off of that window. This is also There we go. This is like where I keep their crafts and stuff. I'm also gonna get some cute baskets for everything to go in. And then sweaters and socks all go up here. Isn't that great? And this is our garage. So currently we are storing our new oven in here until we install it, but that has to wait until we're ready to do the kitchen, which is probably gonna be in a couple of weeks. But it's pretty sweet. There's like shelves in here. When the oven isn't in here, this is like open space. And then there's shelves on the side here. And Shane's gonna put hooks all over the walls to hang up all of his like drills and tools and stuff. So it's so much better because before all of that stuff was being stored under our bed. So if Shane wanted to get something, he had to pull like everything out to get it. Whereas now, once the oven is out of there, it's like you just walk in, you see what you need and you get it out. So. Our storage situation is like way more efficient now than it ever has been before. So, I'm so excited.
So those are some of the upgrades that we've done already, including the 100 gallon water tank that's in front of our couch, which is so exciting. But we still have the bathroom to do in the kitchen and the living room. So that's gonna be about one more week of renovations and then we're gonna be done. There's gonna be, I mean, we'll always be able to add to do cute things like edging and, and clean things up a bit and whatnot. But for the most part, we're pretty much there. Like, I can't believe it. Renovating has been so much quicker than starting from scratch. And I'm really glad we made that decision. So there you have it. That's the updates that we've got so far, but these next couple of weeks, we're gonna be hitting it hard. I think we're gonna take a week off from big renovations because we're just driving and doing house concerts for the next like two weeks. But then we're gonna be in Missouri for a little bit and there we're gonna be able to hopefully finish the rest of it because this kitchen is gonna look a lot different really soon. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and like and share if you're into these travel vlogs. And well, thanks for being here. See you guys.